zero WAR test. Alright, in zero WAR, Aaron here in the shack, Shutter Mafia Studios, doing a little test video on the GoBox modifications. I got the Surface Pro on the left with the RAM mount keyboard Bluetooth rigged up there on some Manfrotto quick release junk and all that stuff's mounted on one of the Manfrotto articulating arms and there's a super clamp where it's clamped onto the handle of the go box and also that monitor in the upper right corner is a 12 volt battery or uh, 12 volt insignia it's plugged right into the rig runner and also the IC7 D100 HF rig hanging there below that monitor is on a super clamp and Manfrotto articulating arm. Got the iPad, some uh, radar sitting up there. So I got three of the articulating arms so you could point those monitors in whatever direction you want. There's an over the air antenna. Let me get a little closer. Alright, I moved in a little bit. Hopefully, you can get a closer look. You can move that Surface Pro. It's got the uh, screen mirroring from the uh, Microsoft wireless display adapter, Bluetooth or something. And that's also got an over-the-air antenna TV on it, uh, and TV antenna. Crap. I'll be right back. All right, in zero WAR, Aaron here returning to the shack. A little show of the... Uh, Go box version 3.0. It's a Gator Case Pro 6U. And upper left corner got the uh, Kenwood D710 beaconing APRS on two meters. As, uh, it's a PowerWorks switching power supply on the upper right. Middle left LDGAT100 Pro 2 auto tuner. Next to that is the body for the IC7100, which is upper right radio on a Manfrotto articulating arm and a super clamp. iPad, watching the radar and stuff from the Hurricane Irma. And Surface Pro 2 or 3, I forget. And it's got the Bluetooth RAM mount. This is on a ball head. This is fully adjustable. Um, uh, it's running the Microsoft uh, thingy. The mirroring deal wireless display adapter is hooked up to that monitor in the upper right. So it can uh, simultaneous displays whatever's on the surface. Right now it's YouTube TV on uh, Fox News watching the uh, hurricane. So the TV can be pointed somewhere else so people can see it at a com communications base setup or whatever. Um, and you can be looking at and typing away on the uh, surface here or you can have that on the over the air TV and I can program these Motorola's with it. The Kenwood uh, Ham Radio Deluxe is on that as well the Surface Pro so you can remote control the radio and everything so I've got D-Star, DMR, HF, all band, all mode, APRS, even the two Motorola 4550s XPRs on the bottom they're 50 waters they have GPS modules hooked up to them as well for beaconing APRS and D-Star, whatever. So, version, I got a lot of views on the original Go Box. I emptied them all out. This thing's been sitting empty for two years. And 
uh, moving to some other radios around. So Bluetooth mouse for the Surface, Bluetooth keyboard. Um, I got an open spot back here too, so lots of possibilities for emergency communications. Um, this is ready for solar power. I actually have a solar setup for it here at the house, a portable solar setup, and a solar setup on the mobile set up the power poles so I can just put this in the back of the truck and set up anywhere indefinitely and I have two 6 volt batteries 230 amp hours and about 240 watts of solar panels on the truck two commercial grade Kyle Ceros I have some YouTube videos on that so lots of versatility I like mixing the Manfrotto parts goes perfect with ham radio so you can put that surface wherever you want on the articulating arm all right one more view in a little closer I cut some other video for this yesterday and it sucked I don't know if it's gonna come through very good seeing these articulating arms look them up it's called the super clamp and the Manfrotto articulating arm it's awesome and also the RAM mount products. I got an iPad mount in my mobile and it works really good. So here's the box. Let me refocus. It's a little bit up close there. And I got a huge rig runner in the back, a Powergate PG40S charger, and an isolator, and an automatic switch from a commercial power to emergency backup power. Oops. So it's a little 19 inch insignia that monitor from Best Buy for dirt freaking cheap. Cut it off and uh, put a power pull on it and it runs right off of 12 volts. Thank you Jim and 7BDR for pointing that out. I got a bunch of those now. So yeah, everything self-contained, run at uh, emergency communications, and talk to anywhere in the world at any time. Ham radios, awesome, check it out. Send zero WAR, freak in the shack. All right, screw it, zero WAR, return to the freak. Quick side view. It's hard to see that. Uh, just kind of a back view or a side view of the box. It's really hard to see. Let me see if I can get in there. Okay, another view here. A little closer. I got a little LED light back there from uh, PowerWorks. One of the PowerBright LED sticks. Velcro on it so I can stick it all over the place. So a quick look, it's hard to see. Alright, screw it, one more angle of the new go box. Handheld. So you can get a view. A little more visualization from this angle. So we got the arm hooked up to the handle of the gator box so you can position that wherever same thing with the monitor and the uh, the external monitor it's working really awesome those things are not cheap the Manfrotto uh, articulating arms and super clamps I got a few of them at Jack's here in uh, Loveland Colorado Side view of the box. Let me focus on that. There's an old Manfrotto ball head. I got a nano clamp. Uh, there's all kinds of crap on there. The other monitor. I just kind of rigged it up with different uh, parts mostly photographic refocus it's 
pretty awesome. Let me know what you think. I'm a ham radio freak. This is N0WAR in the shack. Testing all things photography and ham radio. And I would be shooting this on the new Nikon D850. Just going to be a couple more days. I'm going to do a video with that. So, Ultimate Ham Radio Go Box. Another experiment from uh, the Ham Radio Freak. And zero WAR in the shack. This thing can be picked up, set up anywhere, and uh, talk to any hospital, fire department, sheriff's department, and then some. The war room at the Pentagon, the World Bank in New York. Uh, the International Space Station got a record for uh, talking to Colonel Willock on these ham radios here in the shack just like this and it was awesome alright that's it for now this is in zero W-A-R until next time